Good morning, everyone. So I am teacher Joseph and I am your math teacher. So today is our 36th day of our online math class. So today we have a new topic. So that is fractions. Okay, so get your book and open it on page 63. 63. Okay, let's start. Okay, so reading and writing fractions. So reading and writing. So what is a fraction? A fraction is a number representing a part of a whole. So the whole has been divided into equal parts. Remember, for it to uh, be a fraction, it should be divided into equal. So example, for the square, you divide this by four equal parts. And for the circle, you divide this by three equal parts. So each diagram is divided into equal parts. And what about the non-equal parts? So as you can see, this is not, yet, uh, not divided equally. So, but there are four non-equal parts and then three non-equal parts. Okay, so let's proceed. So a fraction always consists of a numerator and a denominator. So if you can see on the example, we have three shaded squares. So that is the numerator. Then the whole. So one, two, three, four. So that is the denominator. So it is read as three quarters or three fourths okay three quarters or three fourths okay so what is a numerator so a numerator represents the number of equal parts that is shaded okay remember that so those that are shaded that is the numerator and how about the denominator so the denominator represents the number of equal parts that makes up the whole. So that is the whole. So that is the denominator, the total. Okay, next. When the numerator and denominator are the same, the fraction equals one whole. Okay, so example, if it is one over one, that is equal to one whole. Two over two, that is equal to one whole. Okay, so any number that are the same, the numerator and denominator, those, uh, I mean, it equals to one whole. Example, six over six or six, six, that is equal to one. Okay, so that's it. Next. As the numerators are equivalent, the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Okay, so remember, if the numerator is the same, equivalent meaning the same, so you just have to look at the denominator. So the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. So this is a smaller denominator and this is a greater denominator, but its value is bigger. Even though this is a smaller denominator, it has a big value. So it is bigger than this one. So one third is bigger than one fourth. Always remember that if it has the same numerator, but different denominator, so if you want to compare and look for the biggest or bigger fraction, you have to look at the smaller denominator. Okay, so three is smaller than four. That means it has a bigger or greater value. So you have to use this symbol. One third is greater than one fourth. Okay, so that's it. Next. We can draw a diagram to visualize 
fraction. So it is easier if there is a picture, right? That you have to draw a diagram before you will know which one to compare. It's because in drawing, you will know which one is shaded more than the other. The example, four, six. So when you draw, first you have to draw six rectangles. So six, okay. Then you shade four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's it. Then one third. So you have to compare with the same rectangle, but you have to divide it by three. So one, two, three. But you have to shade only one. So which one is bigger? Okay, so as you can see, the shaded part is bigger on four six than in one third. That means four six is greater than one third. Okay, so that's it. Next, compare four tenths and five fifths. Okay, so let's answer. So four tenths, that means you have to divide by 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then you have to shade four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that is four. Next, five over five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you shade five also because five, five. So which one is bigger? Okay, as you can see, this one is shaded more. So that means five, five is greater than four tenths. Or you can say four tenths is less than five fives. Okay, so that symbol. Always remember when you compare, the mouse is always at the big number or big fraction. Okay, let's proceed. Next, ordering fractions. So same as what we did in the numbers, when you order fractions, we have two, ascending order and descending order. Okay, so how to order fractions? So by the use of a diagram, you can order it easily. How? So three tenths. So look at this. The example is three tenths, eight tenths, and five tenths. So they have the same denominator, meaning the number below. So here you have 10 and you just have to shade three. You have 10 and you have to shade only eight. You have 10 and you have to shade only five. So how will we answer in ascending order? Remember, ascending order means from the smallest, smallest to the greatest. Okay, so which one is the smallest? Three, eight, or five? So look at the diagram. Yes, so that is three tenths. What's next? Okay, so that is five tenths. And the last one will be eight tenths. Good job. Very good. Okay, next one. What will happen if they have the same numerator? Okay, so let's look at the diagram. So we have one Fourth, so you have to divide by four. One, two, three, four. Then you shade one. Next, one eighth. So you have to divide by eight. Then you shade one. Then one half, you divide by two. Then you shade only one. So look at the diagram. Okay, so how to order? Descending order. Okay, descending means biggest to smallest, okay? From the biggest to the smallest. Look at the diagram. Which one is the biggest fraction? Or has more shade? So that is one half. Next. Yes, that is one fourth. Then the last one will be one eighth. Okay, so that is one half, one fourth, and one eighth. So, and also, I explained um, 
a while ago that if they have the same numerator, so same numerator at the top, the smaller the fraction, the bigger the value. So look at this. So two is the smaller fraction, but it has a bigger value if they have the same numerator. Okay, very good. So now let's proceed. Okay, simplest form of fractions. Okay, so when both the numerator and denominator of a fraction are indivisible by any whole number other than one, the fraction is said to be in its simplest form. So simplest form is the lowest form, okay? So any number, so you can do in simplest form. Example, we have four eighths, okay? Just think of it. What can you divide to four that you can divide to eight, okay? So when you divide, always remember that if you divide from the numerator, you also divide from the denominator. So by four, right? So four divided by four, that is one. Eight divided by four, that is two. So that means one half is the simplest form of four eighths. Okay, that's it. Very nice. Okay, let's proceed. Next. Operations involving fractions. Okay, so operations involving fractions, that means we can add and we can subtract fractions. Operations means the complete four. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But here, this is only an introduction. So that means we just have to add and we just have to subtract only two. So adding fractions with the same denominator. So what you have to do is just add the numerators and maintain the denominator. Example, three eighths plus two eighths equals, just add the numerator, that will be five, three plus two is five, then copy the denominator. You will not add eight plus eight, okay? You have to maintain. So whatever the denominator is, you will maintain it as eight. If that is the same, if they are different, you get the least common, multiple but here we have only the same denominator so we just add three plus two five then eight so five eight okay next subtracting fractions with the same denominator so again it's very easy just like adding because in subtracting you just subtract the numerator then copy or maintain the denominator. So example, four six minus one six equals four minus one, that is three, then maintain the six. So the answer will be three six. Okay, good job. Okay, so now let's answer. Open your books on page 58. So on page 58, we have to identify the diagrams which are divided into equal parts. So which diagrams are divided into equal parts? So page 58. Okay, letter A. Letter A. Okay, so letter A. Is it equal or is it not? What do you think? This is a circle. So is it equal? Yes, that is equal. So you write letter A here. How about letter B? Is it equal? Okay. It is equal. Nice. 
Then how about, so that is B, right? B. Next, letter C. No, because there is one longer, there is triangle, there is rectangle. Okay, so it is not. How about letter D? Is it equal? No, there are smaller parts, there are uh, bigger parts, so unequal. How about letter E? <laughs> no, it's because there are smaller parts here. How about letter F? Okay, so that is equal. Nice. Then how about letter G? Okay, it's not, not equal. How about letter H? No, because this one, this triangle is smaller than this one. So unequal. How about letter I? Okay, so that is correct. So equal letter I. So that means we have four equal parts here. So I mean four diagrams that have equal parts. So that is letter A, letter B, letter F, and letter I. Okay, very good everyone. Let's go now to letter B. In letter B, we have to write each fraction in numerals or we write each fraction in numbers, okay? Words to numbers. Okay, the first one, two-fifths. So how will you write that one? Two, okay, two, Fifths. So that is two over five. So two fifths. Okay. Next, four eighths. Four eighths. Okay. So you write four at the top, then eight. Nice. Very good. Number three, seven twelfths. Seven twelfths. So you can write seven over 12, okay? Then last one, number four, five elevenths, five elevenths. So five elevenths, so that's it. Okay, then next one, letter C, write each fraction in words. So we have to write in words. Okay, so how will you write number one? One sixth. Okay, so when you write the fraction, so you have to put PHS. So it's very important. So that means one, you write one sixth. Okay, because it's only one. One sixth. TH, don't forget the TH. How about number two? Four. Sevenths. So first you write four, then sevenths. You write T H X. Okay, four sevenths. So all have T H S except for one because it's only one, so one six. Four sevenths. And number three, nine ninths. Okay, nine ninths. And last one, number four, three tenths. Okay, three tenths. Okay, so that's it. Okay, that's it. Very good, everyone. So that ends our class. So let's continue on next meeting. So I will see you again, grade three. Bye-bye uh, and stay safe. Goodbye.